Hi there, this is Clipster here and today I will be doing another tutorial on editing and this one in particular will be how to apply a green screen effect onto something that doesn't initially have green screen. What you're going to need is Adobe After Effects and some other editing software. So let's start off here, new project and let's open the file that you want. Okay, so we go to footage here, double click it to put it on that, drag it down here to put it to the timeline thingy. Now I'm not an expert on this, but I know the basics of how to use the Roto Brush tool, which is what you're going to be using for the majority of this. Now to start off, double click this, which puts it into a layer, then you're going to select the Roto Brush tool and just do a general outline on of your figure whatever just click and drag now to adjust this you're going to want to first fully cover your figure with this nice little pink line and to make adjustments on the deletion of this red line selection you're going to hold the alt button the alt key and just go over with that if it doesn't work out, keep trying, you'll get it eventually. Sometimes smaller things take a bit more time and precision as well as effort. Now I'm not trying to make a masterpiece here, so I suppose this will do. After this, you should probably want to adjust the effects here. I don't know what half of them do. Mostly I use a fifth one to soften the edges on this to uh, make it a bit more fitting in whatever thing I want to put it in. Usually put it around, I don't know, 20, but for smaller and more intricate objects you don't need as much. Although it all depends on the situation. So I'm going to go with uh, 16 on this. And what you want to do next is see this little line down here yeah you're gonna drag it all the way across to make sure the roto brush covers the entire footage next press space and that's gonna start drawing the thing it's gonna go slowly depending on your computer your RAM GPU and stuff and it would make a good time to check whether anything's inconsistent or anything. I'm using Grand Theft Auto because it's just as accurate as real life. That was sarcasm. I used it because it's easy. Anyway. Sometimes not everything will go according to plan. As you can see, his combat pistol is moved out of shot. And if you're going to want to adjust stuff like this, you have to find the first frame that goes out and adjust it on that. But usually you won't be messing around with intricate stuff like this and fast movement patterns like gun drawing or anything. Besides, I would have already have done this animation by the time you see this video, so at the end there, it will be the finalized one. So after that's done, this whole thing, and you've checked everything, you're going to press freeze, which takes a lot of time, I'm not going to lie. So now, what you're going to do is open up Adobe Premiere, right? Or any other video editing software that you can use to utilize green screens. So what you're going to want to do is, you have your footage here, and the stuff you want to put the guy into. So what you're going to want to do is drag the footage on top over this, like so. And then you're going to want to crop out any part that's not green and 
apply it to the thing. So you, what you're going to want to do there is double click the crop while this is selected and in effect controls you'll see this. So just adjust the setting. Doesn't matter if you take out most of the green screen. It's going to be gone anyway. So once it's like that, well you've got your person there. Next you can use your ultra key which is what I use for simple things like this. There. Easy. Click, click the guy and then move him wherever. Resize him if you have to. Overall it's not too hard. That's on the green screen part. Green screen parts, what you're really looking out for. And now we got a floating Michael on screen. Which would be great if my footage wasn't moving in the background. Because then I would have to move her. And I can't be bothered doing that. For the motion effects and stuff. So that's pretty much it for that. And see you in a future tutorial. Goodbye.